Right, this is a Samsung S20 FE and whilst it's somewhat interesting to watching a million videos comparing this device to pretty much everything that's out there, for me, uh, I don't really care. Like most of you, I just want my phone to do the three core functions. Great battery life, great camera, nice and responsive. And it seems like most of you pretty much want the same thing. When I look at a phone, I just want to know if I'm getting value for my money. Will this phone do everything I need it to do or is it going to leave me super frustrated? Let's go through those features and see how does the S20 FE hold out. Let's do this. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So it looks like Samsung has created the Francophone. It's like that classic novel where your creature is made up of various parts. Well, Samsung seems to have done the same thing with the FE. It seems to have taken the best parts out of the flagship phones, somehow squished them together in a much more affordable package. And I'm all for that. But did they create a hideous monster or an amazing device? Well, let's go through this. Okay, let's start with the battery. The S20 FE has 4,500 milliamp battery, which is just superb. You can easily, easily get through an entire day's usage out of the device without worrying if it fading on you. This is pretty impressive, especially when you consider that glorious 120 hertz refresh rate. Superb job. It also supports 25 watt super fast charging, which charges your phone more than 50% in 30 minutes. Charger is not included. The power management software on the phone is really great and after a couple of days of using it, it seems to optimize itself for the way that I use the device. There's a considerable difference from the time that you start using the S20 FE to using it for a couple of days. The battery just seems to last longer and longer and longer. Okay, let's move on to that camera. So on the back, we have a 12 megapixel camera as a standard, 12 megapixel with the ultra wide and an eight megapixel with a three times telephoto. Turning it to the front, front facing camera, 32 megapixel, that's insane. It can record in 4K, which is great because it also comes with 128 gigs of storage. So plenty of space to store your files. It has many features built into the camera software, which really allows you to take up your photography to another level. I like best shot, which really allows me to reframe the shots from what I think looked good to something that looks a little bit better. Of course, it's got single take photo, it's got video, but it also has Pro, panorama, food, night, life focus, life focus, video, pro video, slow, super slow, mo, slow motion, and hyperlapse. There's a lot going on here. So with everything that's going on, how does it handle the workload? How does the phone behave? Well, it's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor for the 5G or a Exynos 990 for the 4G, which is blah, 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 blah. And all that means that it's nice and fast and responsive for most of us. Can you get faster processes in a mobile phone? Absolutely. Will most of us notice? Uh, absolutely not. Along with this, you also get six gigs of RAM, so you can open up all your apps, jump in between them, play games, watch YouTube, send emails, do all that other good stuff without missing a beat. Nice and responsive. That's what I want to see with my phones. Other notable mentions on the FE, one terabyte of storage, expandable to one terabyte of storage, and you don't have that option with some other brand of phone that you're stuck with whatever you buy when you buy it. Still don't get why you guys put up with that. If it does have an IP rating of 68, which means it can handle dust and sand and a bit of dirt, it can be submerged in water up to a maximum 1.5 meters for up to 30 minutes. So get caught in the rain, no problem. Drop it in the toilet, it happens. Don't go swimming with it. And of course, don't go into the sea with it. It has decks and wireless view and fingerprint sensor and reverse charging. It's got a whole bunch, lots and lots is packed into this. So overall, I am absolutely a fan of the fan edition. Great job, Samsung, sub 1000, no compromises. And I'm personally really excited about using this phone. 
Let me know if you guys want me to go into more details on any of this. This was just my initial brain dump after using the phone for a little while. Check out more phones, tips and tricks down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the phone a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.